In the previous video, I explained how to scale historical architecture drawings in Blender. In this video, I'm going to explain how to cut them up in pieces and align them in 3D space. So you have a complete overview of all the sides and uh, floors and cross sections of the building. So we return to this um, scaled uh, scaled drawing that we made in the previous uh, video. Um, and we can hide the scale bar cubes, use them for later. Um, and what we have to do now is first cut it up in different pieces. Um, a way to do this So the way to do this is first to make a shift D duplicate and place it a little bit on the side. We will use this later when we need other parts of the image. So we will hide this one. Um, all right, so how to cut this up? Well, um, we're going to edit mode by hitting tab and then go to edge select mode i hit two on the keyboard to select edge select mode uh, and when i want to move these edges x y to kind of cut a part of the image and it's not possible however i hit escape um, there is another function that is activated as soon as you hit g twice so i hit g not once but twice and then you move into uh, vertex sliding mode and basically what it does it slides the vertices uh, along the edges um, and this allows us to kind of cut out images like this I hit the, bow, the top part as well and I go out of edit mode and in this case, I do Shift D. Another time. So I have uh, four duplicates of this image, and then I can go GG. 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 GG, 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 okay, and we can turn on this one again, um, so basically what you have to do is the same trick um, all the time you make sure that you have one complete one uh, in store that you can always use as a basis to for next uh, cutouts so for instance I'm going to use this one to get the front and the back so when you're finished you have something like this uh, all separate parts of the drawing cut out um, so the first thing I'd advise you to do uh, is to recenter um, their origin so now every part has a different origin as you can see here of this part of the drawing the origin is uh, way out of its uh, geometry because it all used the origin of the original drawing that origin there in the middle. So we want to recenter it, so we select it, uh, right mouse button, and then um, set origin to center of mass surface. So now everything has an origin again in its center. So then we can start with the front, uh, the front and the back side of the house and the cross section to get those aligned. Um, well, we can first start by rotating them. So in this case, we have to make sure that individual origins is selected as, as point of rotation. So I do R, Y, no, not Y. I don't want to rotate on the Y, but on the X and hit 90 degrees. 
then I'm moving them a little bit closer to the origin. So what I'm doing now, in fact, is not just like dragging them with G, but um, I'm hitting G and then Shift Z. And that will make sure it doesn't move up and down uh, and that the images stay on the same elevation, but they are moved in the X, Y plane, basically. So, um, and then I want to make sure that also the outward facing part of the geometry is facing outward. So I will turn on face orientation to make sure to check it. So the blue part is the outward facing part of the geometry. So the, the plus normals basically. Uh, and the red part is the, the negative normals, the inward facing. So again, I will move this um, this is the back side of the house. I move it a little bit more back. I do again shift Z to move it over there. And I will move the front side of the house approximately over here. And then I will make sure that the back side of the house is uh, rotated. Uh, so it faces with its exterior part, uh, also with the exterior uh, normals. Uh, to the outside, I do R Z to rotate it 180 degrees. I select both of them, um, and I will go into one of the front orthographic or side orthographic views, and I will make the bottom side of this house align with the point zero, and I will also make sure that this one aligns well. Can tweak that of course later. Um, so we turn off the face orientation for now. Um, the next thing is uh, the cross section of the house. So in fact this is a cross section of one of the two houses and I'm not entirely sure which one but it doesn't really matter these houses are quite symmetrical. Um, we will rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis um, I hit again shift G, shift Z, and kind of make sure that it is approximately aligning with the front part of the house. So uh, I hit G, Z. So this house has a basement, so the floor above the basement, this one should align with ground floor. And I move it a little bit on the x-axis, so this is exactly in the center of the house. This may not be exactly in the center of the house, this, uh, I think it is, because we have here the this point matches this point. So now we have to move this one a little closer, G, Y. Something like this. Right, and now we can place each individual floor. So this is also usually the moment that you discover whether the draftsman uh, had been accurate. Sometimes you will find that the floor plans or the one of the frontal uh, views or the cross section don't line up very well. They are of slightly different scale, for instance. That happens sometimes, and then you have to choose which one is the more accurate. And that's all part of the process of a historical 3D reconstruction with all the inaccuracies that come with it. So I get the next one, I hit G, Shift Z to move it on the base. So I will try to line this up as close as possible with. Yeah, all right. And this, so this is the plan of the foundations. So we go all the way over here. So it should stay here. So this is the plan. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit figuring out which one is which. Second, first. So this is probably ground floor. Yeah. G shift Z, move it over here, then G Z. Yeah, 
this is ground floor change shift set match this line hold shift for precise or small movements so you see here there's a deviation between a plan and um, plan and front view and that's totally okay and acceptable um, and this is first floor G shift set it's not totally okay and acceptable it is um, expected this is all hand work all the time using G shift Z of course you can also use only one direction all the time to place them so for instance we're going to do this with uh, next floor so you can use G Y to kind of move it over there and then G X to move it over there and then G Z to move it over there and now go in and move it more precisely G Z G Y GX this line and line so that's another way working with it so third floor G but I prefer this way it's faster GZ GZ G shifted hold shift for accurate precise movement G shift sets yeah okay get this one This one is the last one. G. Oh no, not entirely. The last one of the floor. So this is basically a drawing of the attic, or the way that yeah, the beam construction used over there. Okay, and then we have this last part. We rotate it on the X ninety. Okay, G shift set. So this is the cross section of the front facade. Rotate ninety. Oh, rotate Z ninety. G Z. I uh, just have to make sure that it aligns with all the floors. So again, it's the center of the house, G Y. Yeah. What I can do now also to make it a little bit more neat, this one, I can select those edges and slide them a little bit closer to the wall yeah I want the drawing to keep drawing visible um, yeah but this is basically it the scale drawing cut up in its different parts and then uh, positioned and aligned to each other